Hi, and welcome to the Old Timer Car Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant, and today we have for you a 1996 build Jaguar XJR. Being a 96 model, it's got the 4 litre supercharged 6 cylinder engine. These X300 Jags were regarded as the most reliable XJ series. This car's done 191,000 kilometres and it's got a very, very good service history to it indeed. It's got the very reliable four speed automatic transmission and it looks like it's got three keys and two remotes to the car. These were about $200,000 when they were new and we'll talk about some of the reasons why. One thing being a, a wood grain steering wheel, Jaguar were one of the first cars to have a wood grain steering wheel like that and then Lexus, Mercedes and other models followed. It's got memory electric seats, it's got sports suspension being an XJR, it's got these beautiful Jaguar XJR series wheels, uh, they came with the sunroof, this car is navy blue in colour with cream leather interior. The XJR also came with bucket seats. We think these represent excellent value and there's no reason why something like this shouldn't be some sort of collector's item down the track. They were also regarded as a much better car than the later V8 series which had timing chain and tensioner issues. This car looks like it's been garaged. You can see the paintwork is in absolutely incredible condition. Looking down the side, it seems to be gun barrel straight. Uh, it is a car which look like, looks like it's had the same owner for at least 10 years, last 10 years. And I have driven it and drives absolutely beautifully. One of the best things about these old supercharged six cylinder Jaguars, you can really hear the engine, you can hear the supercharger, and it really is a great experience. The interior is also in very, very good condition. There's very minor hairline cracks on the front seats. But if you're looking at other cars similar to this, I think you'll find this car to be in remarkable condition. We'll have a quick look at the service books. I think that's important. We won't go right through it, but they've actually run out of space to put the stamps in. So there's a stamp on the back there, and then it goes right through right back to the beginning. So it's very, very good indeed. Uh, the radio works. We actually sent the radio to Melbourne to be refurbished and it works perfectly because we want to keep this car as original as possible. You can see the paint on the bonnet is absolutely excellent. There was a minor little sort of mark on the front here which we've, we've had refurbished by a specialist. And we did send it to our mechanic in the eastern suburbs um, for a check over. And I believe we spent about $1,000 on some minor wear and tear items. But if you have been looking for an X300 series, whether it's a six cylinder, four litre, 3.2 litre, or even if you've been looking at V8s, I strongly suggest you come and have a look at something like this. It is an XJR. They're a very different car to the XJ6 